God's advice today. God is sending many signs, but it seems like you are ignoring all of them. So please do not ignore this video, as it is a message from God's heart to bless your life today. Before we continue, please leave your like so that more people can be reached by this message, subscribe to the channel, and activate the bell to receive more videos like this. Don't ignore this video and stay until the end. I invite you to click on the first comment, where you will find a special prayer and the second best manifestation offer in the world. God said, My dear son, beloved daughter, I ask that you embrace these words with all the depth of your souls, for they are dedicated exclusively to you. I request a brief moment of your precious time to turn towards my voice and hear what I have to say. The message I wish to share is of immeasurable importance, transcending all the worries and distractions that may be on your mind right now. Allow yourselves to be with me a moment longer and open your hearts to feel the essence of what I am conveying. I wish to relieve the burdens you carry in your hearts and dispel the shadows that cloud your thoughts. May my presence envelop you with a peace and serenity that are unique and deeply restorative. Right, my heart belongs to Jesus, to reaffirm. Join me and place your trust in my eternal care. My desire is to bring comfort and relief during difficult times. Despite the inevitable challenges of life, rest assured that I will never forsake you. My unchanging and constant love dispels all apprehension and insecurity. Seek in me the resilience needed, the invigorating optimism, and a lasting sense of peace. Each of you is deeply loved and valued as my precious children, and it is my will that you experience the full embrace of my grace. Right now, I trust in your love, God. I perceive that many of you have faced significant trials recently, and I understand the weight of these difficulties. You have reached a point where you have been compelled to cry out to me for help and guidance. I want you to know that I am fully aware of the concerns that plague your hearts. I know what weighs on your minds and understand the pain you face. What I wish to communicate is that you have reached the end of a path full of challenges due to choices you have made over time, allowing certain things to enter your lives. The time has come for a crucial decision, to continue following your own path or to surrender to my divine will. The suffering you are experiencing is a result of trying to lead your lives without seeking my guidance. If this resonates with you, I am here to guide you to turn completely to me so that you may overcome stubbornness and follow the purpose I have set for you. Receive this message with faith and trust. Right, today I receive my victory in Christ. Before we continue, I invite you to express a fervent hallelujah in the comments. I feel that there is someone here under intense pressure, carrying the weight of great responsibilities. Release that burden to me right now. Ask for my strength, wisdom, and peace of mind. I will remove the heavy yoke from your neck and grant you victory over stress and depression. The pain you feel in your chest will disappear when my healing hand touches you. May my power bring deliverance and renewal to each of you at this very moment. A spiritual stage has come to an end. The time to allow certain things has passed. Therefore, doors may seem to be closing and people may have disappointed you. It is I who am blocking these things to redirect your heart back to me. My word says that I show my love to lead you to repentance. The obstacles are my work, for I desire that you seek my will for your lives. Receive this word with hope and devotion. Right, I place everything in your hands, Lord. To all who are listening now, I am bringing great changes to your lives. For some, this means removing people who do not genuinely care about your destiny but only about their own selfish interests. Not out of true love, 
but because I will change circumstances and rearrange relationships according to my divine purpose. You have struggled because you have accommodated these dynamics for too long. As you turn to me, I will grant you understanding and peace. Look to me and seek guidance on which steps to take next. I will guide you by my just and righteous path. Some of you may not understand why I am rearranging things, but it is because I am working intensely right now. I see that many of you need a spiritual change of direction. Therefore, areas of your life may seem unstable. It is for your own good that I will disturb comfortable patterns, for if things remained unchanged, you would not seek to know my will. Receive this word with confidence and gratitude. A spirit of neglect has persisted for too long. With my authority, I command it to leave now. I am acting directly in your hearts. Bitterness, resentment, and unforgiveness have kept you emotionally imprisoned, but at this moment I am bringing deliverance. I see a child of God here who has built barriers around their heart and mind. You may feel that everyone is against you, although that is not true. A spirit of paranoia and suspicion has oppressed you, but my power will free you and restore your soul. Begin to thank me for your freedom now and be prepared for comprehensive changes, for I will transform many areas of your life. Many things will be interrupted because I have not approved of them. You have prayed to know my will and align with it, and because of your seeking and humility, I am now acting to bring the necessary changes. Did you know there is a powerful method to manifest money? This technique can transform your beliefs about reality at the deepest level of your subconscious mind and has literally changed my life. We would like to invite you to try this amazing technique. We believe that when you trust that God wants to manifest in your life, you gain the courage to ask Him directly. God desires to bless each of us in unique and wonderful ways. Therefore, be open and confident as you seek His blessings and divine directions, believing that He has a special plan for you. To support our channel and the team who works hard to bring this valuable content, we ask that you consider purchasing our product. Just click the link in the first comment to see how this technique can work for you too. Your purchase will not only help you manifest the life you desire but will also allow us to continue sharing inspiring and transformative messages with more people. We appreciate your support and trust. It is a time of transformation, and I am working in the depths of your being. Transformation is not easy, but it is essential for your growth and for fulfilling the divine purpose I have for you. The changes I am bringing are a sign of my love and my intention to guide you toward a more glorious future aligned with my will. If circumstances seem difficult now, remember that I am with you every step of the way. Each challenge faced is an opportunity to strengthen your faith and trust in me. Trust that despite the difficulties, I am shaping you to become the person I have destined you to be. Be grateful for each step of the journey, for it brings you closer to the perfect plan I have for your life. In every phase of your life, I will be by your side, offering comfort, direction, and unwavering support. No matter how challenging the situation may be, my presence and love will never abandon you. Seek my guidance in prayer and meditation, and allow my wisdom to guide your decisions. I am doing a new work in your life, and each day you are getting closer to the fulfillment of the divine purpose I have for you. Receive this word with faith and commitment knowing that my will is always for your good and for the glorification of my name. Continue to walk in the light of my presence, and you will see my promise fulfilled in your life. Beloved son, beloved daughter, the answer to your prayers is on the way, and things will change as I establish the right order. If trials have been knocking at your door recently, do not be discouraged. 
Resist the voices of fear and insecurity and stay on the path I have set for you. I know that the attacks may seem overwhelming at the moment, but my perfect plan is unfolding. I will help you overcome each obstacle in due time. You may feel exhausted from the battles, but be courageous and remember that I see your struggle. I know that the burden may seem heavy to bear alone and there may be temptation to lose hope. But do not listen to those lies. You were created to persevere, and my divine power strengthens you. Together, we will defeat the enemy that surrounds you. Trust in this and manifest your trust in the comments by declaring, I trust, Lord. I will restore peace to your soul. The storm will pass and give way to a powerful outpouring of blessings. I am taking you to new heights that you have only glimpsed in dreams. The old season of weeping and wandering is coming to an end. Trust in my timing and continue to wait with expectation for what I will do. Your prayers have come to me as a sweet incense and delight my heart. Soon, your faith will transform into an unshakable confidence that I answer when you call. No request is difficult for the one who created all creation. Now, I need to address a sad and delicate matter, but I ask that you listen with all your attention. From now on, I will place myself and communicate with you as a human made of flesh and bone, as your firstborn brother, just as I did on my journey on earth. I want you to feel even closer to me, your Lord and Savior. The Word of God teaches us the importance of being a true neighbor through the parable of the Good Samaritan, found in Luke chapter 10 verses 25 and 37. In this parable, a man is assaulted and left wounded by the roadside. A priest and a Levite pass by, and despite seeing the situation, they do not offer help. However, a Samaritan, from a region considered an enemy by the Jews, sees the wounded man and, moved by compassion, decides to help him. He tends to the man's wounds, places him on his own donkey, and takes him to an inn, where he pays for the additional care the man needs. This act of mercy and love, regardless of differences and social barriers, is the example we should follow in our lives. We need to be like the Good Samaritan, extending our hand with love and generosity to those in need, without making distinctions. In Galatians chapter 6 verses 9 and 10, Paul encourages us not to grow weary in doing good, affirming that in due time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. He urges us to take every opportunity to do good to all, especially to those who belong to the faith. This is a call to persevere in good deeds, even when it seems we have done enough, remembering that each act of kindness and compassion contributes to the kingdom of God and to the building of a more loving and supportive community. With love, God. I hope this message has been an inspiration to you. If you liked it, please write Amen and share this message with someone who also needs to hear it. I invite you to click on the first comment where you will find a special prayer and the second best manifestation offer in the world. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more inspiring content like this. See you tomorrow.